Hey guys, what's going on? Lord Vietner here, and today I wanted to do a different style of video from what I typically do, which is Monster Hunter, and I wanted to cover another game that I really like, which is the Hunter Call of the Wild. So today I want to go over some of my new favorite hotspots on the newest map, Silver Ridge Peaks, which released today on PC and is coming July 8th to all console platforms. So the first one we're starting with is the first outpost you start out at, which is the Plains Bison Outpost. And if you head just northwest of there, there's these two lakes. And as you can see, there are lots of need zones. Just tons. Pronghorn, bison, turkey, mule deer, elk. I mean, just everything. Pronghorn right there. Bison right there. Make another pronghorn. Come over to this window. You got more elk. Typically, there's some plains bison right in here. And so, this is probably the first and easiest, most accessible hotspot that I would recommend. Everything's within a little under 350 yards, so it's all definitely within your zeroing distances. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. So after you finished at that hot spot, we're going to move on to the second lake that I showed you here just northwest of the starting launch. And I have put a tripod up here on top of this hill because right as you crest the hill, there is a couple of pronghorn drink zones. And so I want to be able to shoot as many as I can without getting too much hunting pressure built up in one area. You want to be really slow as you approach this as the pronghorn are right over the edge. So my orange marker is where the drink zone is and as you can see it's about 70 meters difference. I don't recommend putting a tent up here because as I said you're still pretty close to the starting outpost which is just over that hill right there. And so Putting a tent here in this middle zone will put you really close to a whole bunch of these different need zones, which might in turn spook some of the animals if you do fast travel there. So I think this is one of those ones where it's worth it just to walk it instead. So they typically have been spawning over here on the south side of the lake, but the drink zone I got was right there, so I wanted to ping that instead. So if I do end up looking to the left, I don't want to cause any confusion as I get up here. So yeah, as you can see, quite the herd. It's all males for me, but uh, again, so I'll show you the time. It's about 10.17, so they do drink from 8 to 10 or 10.30, kind of depending on the zone that you end up getting. So let's go ahead and see if we can't pop one of these guys. That guy looks like the highest scoring one. Just go ahead and drop him. So, the 7mm is probably the best gun for this map, because it really does a good job of getting everything. So it's class 4 to 9, and you have all those classes. The majority of things are class 4 uh, on this one, and as you can see, there's the other pronghorn drink zone right there. A little bit smaller, so I kind of post it up for this closer one here. There's also mule deer that rest down in here sometimes. So this is a pretty good spot, and it's super easy to come to right after you've checked this one. You can just go ahead and cycle right up here instead. But by bringing the 7mm, it also gives us room to bring the 22 for use on turkeys. So I definitely recommend the 7mm if you have it. So the next hot spot I want to look at is up here just north and slightly east of the starting one. If you do the missions, it'll bring you up here anyway, so you'll end up getting this um, lodge fairly early on. It's the Wild Turkey Outpost. But both of these lakes are pretty good for pronghorn and elk, as well as there's lots of bison feed zones, some black bear zones. So as you can see, just tons of zones in this area. And of course, once you're done there, you can just go ahead and continue on west-northwest here to this lake right here, which has uh, quite a few pronghorn hunting zones, as well as some plains bison and black bear. So I went ahead and reset the time to about 8.30 to go ahead and make it a little bit easier for pronghorn and elk, uh, which this zone is kind of for in the first place. So as you can see, as we crest the ridge, there's some elk right here traveling to a feed zone. We got some bison here traveling from a drink zone to a feed zone. 
so it's pretty good. What I have done is I went ahead and built this hunting stand right here. And so what I'll typically do is sometimes when you spawn here, there's a pronghorn drink zone I have right here and they don't spawn until I get far enough away. So I'll go to this hunting stand right here first just to kind of put some distance in and then that also helps alleviate some of the hunting pressure. So it makes your life a little bit easier. So as we approach this next hotspot, I just want to talk about two different approaches you could have coming into this spot. So what you can do is if you're done hunting here and you want to come straight in, you can and go for the hunting stand is you can do that but there's also an outpost just north of this lake called the rocky mountain elk outpost and you can come straight south from there the unfortunate thing about this is that this is a pretty sheer cliff with lots of foliage and it's kind of hard to see this side and this side you can see clear across over here which is fine just kind of hard to see here and here so what i do if i come from here is i'll come to here come down and try to spot this side and then move in here shoot here and hopefully that'll keep this side from spooking too early. While we're on our way crouch walking up through here, the ideal time to kind of come through this lake sweep right here is going to be, you're going to want to start around 8 a.m. That's when pronghorn drink time tends to start. And elk, bison, and bear will all be eating at that same time as well. So you'll be able to catch them a lot of the zones in between the lakes as you're going. As you can see, it just kind of all around here. And then mule deer rest until 9.30. So it gives you about an hour and a half where you have all of those different species that you can hunt just kind of in one fell swoop as you move around and check different lakes and go through different parts of the forest or across the plains. There's lots of different options for what you can do. Sounds like they heard us. So approaching from this side is a little risky, obviously. Uh, pretty big one but no huge tremendous loss that guy's still gonna drink but as you can see we've got lots of pronghorn all up in here this one's all female but we have a couple males kind of danger close to us so so the thing about pronghorns is that their sight is really good but that's about it they really don't hear you that well so you can typically run in a little bit closer sort of similar to moose is you're able to get close to them pretty easily without them really noticing you if you're just kind of traipsing around but they will notice you if you're kind of standing up and being dumb or whatever they're mostly you know sight based animals so while we're here i guess we can go ahead and see if we can't get a shot on that guy so hopefully we snuck into a lung there doesn't look like we did But yeah, as you can see, tons of pronghorn there. We had some bison here. The bear sometimes eat over there. And then there's another pronghorn zone, but they tend to hide. Oh, there they are. Last time I came through here, they were hiding in the brush, but there's, you know, a couple of them that are back there, obviously. Let's see if we can spot some of the higher scoring ones. And apparently we have a mule deer back here that wants to be loud. But yeah, so anyway, so these kind of three lakes right here are really good. Lots of zones all over the place. And so now we're going to move to a little bit more of the northern zones and spots where you can get uh, bighorn sheep, goat, and cougars. So another spot that I forgot to mention before we head a little bit more north is this island lake right here. It has quite a few, few mule deer that drink kind of all in where you see this hunting pressure right here. This is kind of where the zone sits, but they drink all along in here, close to the water, back up on the road. And then there is a couple of elk feed zones, as well as some bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep, it says they're back here, but I've seen them eating as far up as, you know, right over here, kind of within about 300 yards. You can take some shots for sure. So I've also seen them up here. I wasn't able to get a zone, but I shot a big four up here earlier. Um, so what I tend to do is I scout this area, spot this side. Uh, if I see anything, I'll shoot it, come around. And then if you're down here, you have a super good line of sight onto all these mule deer. And like I said earlier, they're having issues with the spooking. So it's pretty easy to just kind of pick off two or three uh, pretty big ones and then move on with your day.
So for zones that include mountain goat and bighorn sheep and cougars, I would suggest first and foremost the area close to Sun Sisters. This lake right here has, as you can see, a significant amount of zones. For mountain goat, bighorn sheep, mountain goat, bighorn sheep, and as well as some turkeys that like to hide up in here. Um, this used to be a mountain lion drink zone, but I lost it to some bighorn sheep. So this one is pretty good to come to, I would say right around when mountain goat drink time starts, about 9, 9.30 in the morning. Because what you'll do is see the bighorn sheep drink from 8 in the morning till 2100. So they're going to be here almost all day. So coming in to get mountain goats, you're going to be able to pick off some bighorn sheep in these different areas as well. If that's something you're looking for, I've had mountain lion in here and in here to drink. And so setting up a tent right about here on the other side of this little road will just about keep everything here from spooking. I haven't had any issues so far, but if it is a problem for you, you can set up the tripod pretty much anywhere along here and just spawn at the outpost instead and come in. So as you can see, we got some mountain goats and they are calm. They're not fleeing. As you can see, they're really close, literally within 200 meters and they're not fleeing. So I think that's probably your best bet for kind of where you want to set it up. If you do have issues, there's not really a lot of flat ground here besides right there. So you could try to set it up a little bit further up the trail if you really wanted to. Um, but there is plenty of stuff going on. There's also a hunting stand over there that you can build for 2100 bucks. And so if you don't really have any drink zones over there or any zones over there that you're afraid of messing up, you go ahead and drop your tent there and you still have pretty good lines of sight. They're just a little bit further shots, which is why I tried to opt for this uh, area here. So we're a little bit early, but as you can see, we've got, you know, some mountain goats drinking there, some up here. I just shot a couple fours here, so I'm not sure if they're going to be respawned, but there's some bighorn sheep coming across. Looking a little lackluster over here right now, but I've had bighorn sheep over here as well when first kind of approaching this general area. So, guess we'll just go ahead and shoot this too. And as you can see, lots and lots of mountain goat. The herds are really large. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but they all really seem to be. So I would go ahead and pick them off while you still can. But, and then later in the day, if you do come, they do have rest zones uh, kind of on both sides of this lake. And they just kind of lay there really close. The rest zone's all the way back here, but I'm shooting them up in here. So this is a pretty good spot for kind of any time during the day, as you know, the bighorn sheep are always gonna be around. Uh, within you know pretty decent shooting range so if you feel pretty confident up to 300 meters then this is definitely a good spot so the next spot i want to go over is over here near the narrows which is kind of in like the mid left section of the map so this has an outpost right here the san juan outpost and it is suction between two lakes i've not yet had a chance to check out this lake but this lake did have for me bear and elk but when I came to get this lookout tower right here, I came across a lot of zones that are really close to the road. And so they're gonna be pretty easy to see all throughout here and just kind of easy pickings on different uh, animal species that you might be looking for. Mule deer, black bear, bighorn sheep, and turkey, as well as Rocky Mountain elk. So I definitely kind of recommend that if you do get this outpost to check this lake and kind of the north area of it every so often if you are if you find yourself looking for any of those species the next spot i want to cover for you guys is up here in cougar watch in the northwestern corner of the map at this little lake right here so as you can see we are up in a hunting stand and we are sitting on top of a mountain lion zone from 6 to 8 30 in the morning Directly to our south is a bighorn sheep zone that lasts from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And directly across the lake from us is a Rocky Mountain elk zone that lasts from 5.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Also, if you wait till a little later in the day, around 9, there's a short mule deer drink time that is definitely worth checking out. So you've got four distinct species right here. You have this hunting blind that I'm currently in, 
And then you have another hunting blind that you can set up right over there. So if you want to look out over here for the cooker, or if you want to look for the bighorn sheep, and you know you're afraid of setting up a tent here that'll spook them or something, uh, there's a second option you have right there to set up that I would definitely recommend. Um, so while we're here, we go ahead and take that big Rocky Mountain elk. It's weird. Should we got along there. Yep, looks like we did. Did our mule deer spook? Our mule deer didn't spook, so we're gonna go ahead and take him as well. Run for your life. Down he goes. And of course, I shift over to put my tent down, and I see yet another bighorn feeding zone with a couple big boys over there. So all the more reason to check this spot out. Lots of good animals here. Just a really small lake again, but as you can see, we have, you know, four different species need zones, all kind of in this small area. So I recommend coming to this spot. And on my way to bag our elk, we actually ended up stumbling across a cougar at this same spot. So I went ahead and took him. Probably kind of a gold. I think he was a level seven. It's gonna be nice mid tier. Yeah, not too bad. Nice little level seven, dark red. Go ahead and get him taxidermized. As it just so happens, coming up here to claim stuff, there's an outpost right here. Guess I probably should check for that before making this part of the video, but yeah. So if you really, you know, loose on tents, you can outpost, drop in, go ahead and shoot. Pretty cool. So the next hot spot I want to bring to you guys is all the way up in the north of Settler's End, which is the top point of the map at the Bighorn Sheep Outpost. The lake just next to it has pretty much every kind of species you could want, aside from plants, bison, and pronghorn. I've picked up mountain lion, bighorn sheep, mountain goat, and I have elk and mule deer kind of meandering in and out of the woods all surrounding this area. So this is definitely a spot that I would recommend, you know, getting a good setup going. As there is stuff all the way around the lake, I wouldn't recommend any tents, but just setting up maybe a tripod on each end would probably be best. Uh, so I've got another clip for you guys when I was first exploring this, so I'll roll that, and I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so I was out kind of exploring the map, and we ran into a big boy who is right there. At about exactly 300. I can't get a spot on him. He's a level five mountain goat. I kind of want to take him, see if we can't get ourselves a diamond on the first day. I really don't want to take a blind shot, but I might have to. Looks like he went down right there. Oh my God. Oh, if you're wondering where we got that, this lake right here, all the way in the north, it's uh, at the Bighorn Sheep Outpost. There are elk, mountain goats, mule deer, all over the place. Got a herd of elk behind us. Got a herd of elk that ran across the street in front of us over here. I had a herd of elk over here. So they're everywhere. This is a really great spot. I would recommend. Let's go see what that guy was. Probably faster to fast travel. Man, if we end up getting a diamond first day, oh, wild. Really excited for this one. Really excited. So, yeah, lots of animals. Uh, that's the nice thing. And one thing that I think they did really well about this map is they put a lot of the outposts kind of right on the water which I think is something that a lot of the other spots are lack, a lot of the other maps are lacking, and Quattro Cleanest did it pretty well, and um, so did the one in Peru, whatever that is, Parque Fernando. Parque did a really good job with that as well. So, but these ones are like pretty much, you hardly even really need tents. I put a couple down just because I'm, I'm lazy, but I think they did a really good job with just kind of the the overall planning of this map so all right here he is guys are we gonna get a look at our first diamond mountain goat oh man come on and what it is it's a diamond a white five over just a monster wow 
That's awesome. Go ahead and get a screenshot of that. Get him to extremize, and we will throw that in the lodge. Okay, guys, the last hot spot I want to bring you guys today, just so this video doesn't end up being like 30 minutes long or anything, is going to be just to the west of the earlier hot spot. But uh, it's quite a trek, so I'd definitely recommend bringing a tent. I'm uh, putting it on this side. I just had one plains bison eating over here and this way you're a little over 300 yards from two pronghorn zones so you won't spook them by fast traveling and there's also a plains bison and bear drink spot. So here's the first herd and the bears are over here and of course right next to that are the pronghorn. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get that four down right there. Yeah, that's going to be cash. Good shot. So again, that's right next to these lakes that I recommended you earlier, just to the west. It's about 600 meters. Um away from this one so it's not insanely far so again if you're low on tents it's pretty easy to travel to but i definitely would recommend this as sort of a final zone i still have a lot that i haven't uh fully explored yet but i think that these are going to be enough to get you started i hope that you guys did enjoy if it helped you out please feel free to leave a comment a like or a subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one no, I